But now, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, James in the Giant Peach, and Danny, Champion of the World. Roald Dahl wrote many of his hugely popular children's book in a small hut in his garden in Buckinghamshire. But now, 21 years after he died, the hut is, well, it's not in great shape. And an appeal has been launched to raise half a million pounds to save it for the nation. But even for Roald Dahl's hut, that is a lot of money. Chris Hopkirk has been to take a look. In a small wooden house outside a large town, there lived a family of seven people. The house was so small it had only two rooms, and the family was so poor they had only one bed between them all. It's hard to believe that in a hut barely 15 feet long and 10 feet wide worked a literary giant. But inside it remains just as Roald Dahl left it more than 20 years ago. It really feels when you come in here that he has just stepped out for a moment. And you can see in the waste paper bin the last pieces of paper that he threw in there when he didn't quite get them right. His glasses, obviously, the writing paper ready, the brush that he used when he rubbed things out to, to get the rubbings off his green baize board that he made. So that's what we really want to recreate. Inside its smoke-stained walls, Dahl wrote some of the most popular children's books of all time. The hut was built by a local builder called Wally Saunders, a snooker pal of Dahl's, and he'd later be immortalised as the big friendly giant. The problem is though it's only one brick thick and it's insulated with little more than polystyrene and the fear is the hut and its precious contents may not survive another winter. Roald Dahl is translated into 49 languages, he's sold in 46 countries, he's an international as well as a national treasure and so for us to be able to preserve the hut and make it accessible not to the, the chosen few like us today but actually to all Roald Dahl fans the project aims to recreate the hut at the nearby Dahl Museum. The Dahl family says it's done all it can to save it, including a substantial contribution. But with a price tag of half a million pounds, a further fundraising campaign's been launched. When I am in this little place, it takes a little while to get in and out of, but once you're in, you're there and it's lovely. And there's no aches or pains or anything, and you can lose yourself in your work. It is my little nest my womb. Piers Hopkirk, London Tonight, Great Missenden in Buckinghamshire. Right, Robin is here. Your favourite Roald Dahl book? I'm going to give you a kind of a fairly partisan answer actually because yeah. back in the day when televisions were valve operated there was a series <laughs> called Tales of the Unexpected oh, yes. and I did one of those and it was called Wink Three Times. Please don't <laughs> ask me what it was about because I really have no memory of it at all. <laughs> back to the day job though.